touched on a couple of your uh, run-ins with the law, but did you ever end up prosecuting Macklemore for his theft? What? <laughs> Didn't he oh. steal one of your singers? <laughs> man, Macklemore, he's on a heist, man. He, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's super dope. <laughs> no, yeah, Ray Dalton. Uh, yeah, Ray Dalton was, was my singer in Raspy and the Vigilantes, that band that I had. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, Mac, he knows he has to pay up. <laughs> did he Did he really, no. like, but it was like after the Oh fact. no, no, he he wasn't like, Hey, I'll I'll pay you more over here. Yeah. No, no, no. It was just um nah, like those guys are both all the homies. Like OR is the homie, like Ryan Lewis. I just had pizza with Ryan, you know. Like all those guys are the the fucking homies, you know. Yeah, Ryan yeah. was like like the first time I met Ryan, he's like, Bro, I fuck with your shit. We all fuck with shit. Man on the tour bus because it was like when me and Sam were leaving for, on tour. That yeah. was the first time, you know, that Sam met you out there in Cincinnati. Yeah. Um, we were leaving, you know, to hop on the plane to get to get and start the tour. And we ran into Ryan Lewis and OR. And so I like I I've been known OR like um I used to date his sister and stuff like that. And, um, but so we, um, but this was the first time I met Ryan though. And he was like, Raz, like, <laughs> shakes up with me, like, shows me love. He's like, man, we were just bumping your shit on the tour bus, bro. I fuck with your shit. Da, da, da. Like, and I was just like, you know, me and Sam were just sitting there, like, and I was just like, oh, that's <laughs> dope as fuck. Yeah. Like, I was like, thank you, bro. You know, um, but yeah, so like the the, the community's dope, and um, yeah, they, they didn't steal my singer at all. Like, <laughs> yeah. it was just uh, that Ray was was fucking with me like for a while, you know, and then he he went on and went to that. So. Yeah, but yeah, it was dope. Definitely, it's so dope to see everything that they're doing. Definitely, for real, for real. And even if it had been uh, that type of situation, I'm sure you would have been able to understand at least on some level, as long as it was for the greater good. Because didn't you actually? Oh. Cause didn't you actually play Robin Hood in a school function when you were oh. little? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did play a Robin Hood um, at a, a school, uh, school play, um, and I, I did Sunjiada and Sunjiada. Like, yeah, I've always, I've always loved stage. Period. You know, like and that's why I say it's so dope that I do what I do because all those things are, you know, I, I'm so dope that I'm passionate about all of the things that involve my work yeah. now. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's, so it's not work. Like, some people just like recording, and they don't like making a beat. They don't like the production of it. They don't like performing. They just want to rap. Like, all right, all right, go to the next song. All right, go to the next song. Like, and that's that's dope. If that's them. Like, they're super rappers. Like, I'm not even hardly a rapper. Like, I'm a rapper. I am. But, like, I mean, it's just, it's just so much, so many other things. Like, so many other people that are, like, more well equipped with the you know like i just like have a story to tell yeah. and i feel like i can express myself well and i love to perform and i love to tell stories my stories i love you know it's like it's my journal and you know so it's dope and i, I love the production of it and making sure that everything is cohesive you know hell yeah so like yeah i've, I've always loved that that's awesome and uh the robin hood role in particular seems pretty fitting for you because aren't you a, even a bit of a uh, philanthropist to this day yeah, definitely. I like to keep it on the low sometimes. But yeah, no, like the revolution shall be televised but <laughs> but not broadcasted live. <laughs> but um but yeah, like I definitely I have a heart for people. Like I've always loved people. Um, you know, I wanna make sure that the platform that I have that I'm able to do a lot more than just, you know, rapping, yeah, running around getting money, doing tours and things like that. You know what I mean? Like if I have a platform of all these people that listen, even even the little platform that I have right now, imagine like you know, imagine that like if I wasn't doing anything with that, and then imagine if I am like on this crazy level that other rappers, you know, have attained, that have got on, right. and I don't do anything with it. Yeah. I just sit around with my you know my dick in my hands, <laughs> fucking bitches getting money, and that's it. Yeah. You know, I can do. I was doing that before music. You know, like right. I can do that, but like about like doing something and changing the world making things better and all that shit like absolutely definitely all about that and that's a rare trait because uh, a lot of people seem to have nothing but cheese on their mind which is you know partly why record labels are often seen as a trap nowadays but lucky for you i understand lior actually was so into your music that he ended up skipping a packers game like what happened yeah there? and it's trippy because uh because lior and his whole family are huge packers fans yeah. and like you know so at first when he told me Big that like oh, mr mr packers game you know to 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 watch your videos and uh, uh, you know I, I was like oh okay you know so i take everything with a grain of salt especially if i don't know you you know yeah. but like then like really seeing that like they are huge Packers fans. Like they don't miss a game type of thing, you know. So um, 
no, it was dope to see. But um, but yeah, and the fact that like he, he because he came at me, um, because his stepson is, you know, Tory Burch, um, Tory Burch. She like makes all the designer handbags, like four hundred fifty dollars slippers and yeah. shit like that for ladies, um, dope ass line. But her son is Henry Burch, and that's like Leo's like stepson. So um, he had been a huge fan of my my work, my music. And he was like getting trying to get Leor to listen. He's like, I'll, I'll listen, I'll listen sometime, I'll listen. So finally, when they did, it was before the Packers game, and then they find like like went like just watching videos and videos of my stuff, and like Leor was just like you know just into it. And so I thought that that was really dope because you know if you know what Leor, Todd, and Kevin Lyles have been doing with Three Hundred, um, you know they've got all these crazy partnerships with Google, um, a, a, a freaking you know, um, I um. A, a, a closed partnership with 300 or with uh, with Twitter you know so they've got like all of everybody's information on Twitter <laughs> like you know if you're tweeting they can find out where you're tweeting from Crazy. you know all of your personal shit and everything like that you know they're doing that for, for Twitter so they have all these like different like crowd like um like like what's it called data mining things yeah. to, like see if someone's gonna be successful or you know who's got the highest whatever that's unsigned they can see all that shit but they still like just fucked with me just because of the music you know that's it wasn't the the numbers and things like that you know yeah so you know it's cool and that's why like you know it took like a year to get to gain understanding you know of our partnership and that build and you know and the biggest thing was like i was telling him you know like I see how things go in the music industry, and I don't, you know, I don't want anything to change. I want things to get better, you yeah. know, of course. But I don't want anything, you know, you can't change any of my shit, you know. So if we're gonna do this partnership, it has to be, you know, that has to be understood. You know, if you wanted to put a pig in a wig, you go find a pig. <laughs> but if you like me for my art, you know, and the organic growth that I'm, you know, that I'm doing right now, then you know, I'm not a pig. I, I already, I already have <laughs> long hair. I don't yeah. need a wig, you know. So. If we can build like that, and we have that understanding, and that's great, you know. Yeah. And and that was that was what it was, you know. That's awesome, man. So. And the future is definitely looking bright for you. Um, lastly, you know, you've certainly come a long way with much further to go yet, I'm sure. Uh, at this point in your career, do you in any way consider music your life? Yeah, I mean, my life is my music. <laughs> I mean, you know, like vice versa. Like I put my life into the music. Um, my music is my life. Yeah, hell, hell, fucking yeah. <laughs> that's what's up man well thank you so much for your time it was great thank chatting you, with you bro. most definitely best wishes with everything coming your way is there anything else you want to say to the people out there watching um man this everybody has been supporting um man so much love and all the people that are just getting turned on um yeah get to know me come out to these shows rest rest simone.com that's where it's at um yeah let me know man get engaged yeah there you have it. Once again, I'm Damon Campbell, and this is Raz Simone. Thanks for watching. The name Raz, as I understand, comes from you having a raspy voice. So uh, I found it kind of ironic that you actually used to own a speakeasy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's taking it back. <laughs> yeah. Um, so when I was, I was... I understand that your mom actually does uh, some narrative art as well on vinyl, coincidentally. Yeah, yeah, she does. Um yeah, she she does paintings on vinyl. Um she does oil paintings on canvas. She does sculpt sculptures.